Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Now, Judith Airport, a trick up called Matrix Line. Uh, I only put the trick up, I didn't do the reveal. Well, here's the reveal for it. Right, what you need is two cards. Well, obviously, you need four cards. I'll show you how to make one gimmick, and you're doing exactly the same. So, you need two cards, doesn't matter what they are, and you need three coins. Put your three coins on the back of a card. And I do the card just alongside it like that. And you can see then how high up you need to cut this card. General rule of thumb, if you just cut up to the lines just above the sail, these little lines, there, them little lines, sorry. If you just cut up to them, you'll be sound. Just get me chopping boards. Get me knife and get me ruler. And this is how easy this is to do. Just cut it off at them lines. Throw that bit away. Bring in your sticky stucky, sticky stucky, sticky glue. Get your sticky glue and put it on this card, obviously, because otherwise you take the glue too high, and you stick a very thin line coming down one edge along the bottom and up the other edge. Ooh. Bloody glue goes like string. And just connect it on, or oh, load the glue on the end. Cloth, cloth, cloth. Load the glue on the end, get that off quick. Get it all squared up. Try and get rid of some of your excess glue while you're doing this. Square it all up. Make sure it gets stuck all the way down. Right, stick that there. Get the lid on this before it all dries up on me, and I have to buy another tube. Right, now what we've got to do is wait for that to dry. So, while we're waiting, little joke for you. A man walks into a bar. He said, "Ow." No, you don't get it. No, all right. A giraffe and a lion walk into a pub. They will get a drink. The giraffe falls over and crashes on the floor. The lion turns around, goes to walk out. The barman says, "Hey, you can't leave that lion there." The lion says, "It's not a lion. It's a giraffe." Oh, all right. My jokes are crap. I know. Right, that should be just about dry enough now, hopefully. Yeah. Get your coins. And then just put them into the gap. Put three coins into the gap. Make sure it stays stuck. And have them on top of each other. And get it to stick. Right? Try and grab a coin. And that way you just get a little lip in it. I don't know if you can see that there. It just causes... Oh, I didn't leave it in long enough. You leave it in overnight. And it'll just cause a little belly. Like that. You can just see that little pocket. Right, get rid of these. Action stations. So... The way you do the trick, I say you make you make two of them. 
you load one of them up with your three coins, bink, bink and bink, and they should all fall in under sight. Lay it down with that gap facing towards you. <laughs> and have that one with the gap facing towards you. Show your three coins and you throw them down. You take your card, try not to turn it that way. It's like granddaughter shouting the dog. Don't show it that way because you'll see the, the gap. You pick the two of them up, just squeeze at the, the line and it'll just flatten the card down and you can show that you've got nothing behind them. Put that one down so that the gap is on this side. Use this one and you just slide it. And that coin's already gone. So you just stick it down, slide it onto the coin, do your move, pick the card up at the edges and turn it towards yourself just so you can get a pinch on the card so they don't see that gap. Because if you pick it up that way towards them, they'll get a glimpse of the gap. So pick it up towards yourself and then turn it over. Then grab hold of this one, again at the sides, stick one finger on the card. And as you're moving it down, you will feel like one of the coins slide. And just pinch to stop any others coming out. You just close the gap up and it'll stop any others coming out. And if it does come out, as soon as you loosen off, as you've just seen on that, it drops back in. So you've got them in the card. The coin's supposed to be about halfway. So just pull back a bit, let it slide. And then a coin appears and you can show the back of that. Just push up at the top with your first finger to close the gap up. And you can show both cards. Again, put that one down so it's again with the gap this way. Take this one and again you just slide it onto the coin. But the coin's gone. Do your move. Pick that one up again towards yourself and turn it around so that the gap's at this side. Again, pick it up. Move it across a bit, you feel it slide down, and then that coin appears. And again, you do the same thing, push on the back as you're turning it over. Now, the last coin, depending on how tight you've done it, sometimes gets stuck. So I throw it on the table, just to give it a little bit of chance to loosen up. And then you do the same thing with that coin. Pick it up, throw it onto there. When you're picking this one up, sometimes, I don't know if it's stuck, Sometimes it'll end up so it's just sticking out the top. So as you pick it up and you turn it around, it'll fall in. Get two back in. So you're just scooping it there. As I say, it's just sticking out a little bit. But as you pick it up towards yourself, it will drop down into the gap. And then you can show that card. Put it down again with the gap towards you. Again, pick this one up. And you'll feel the card, hear the coin sliding. And then just let the coin come out at the right time. Again, push on, turn over. And you're coming away pretty much clean. And here's how that was done. Just make yourself two of these. So you can get the coins to slide in. You still need to turn them out. You should be able to get away with popping them in and leaving them in that overnight now. Yeah, just leave that there, let that get its own little belly, and that one will be alright to use. Now, if you need to clean up, you can just tip your hand over. Oh, didn't grip that properly. Just tip your hand over with your hands at the, fingers at the side, give it a little squeeze, the three coins will drop out into your hand. You can put it down, and then that card will end up flat. You won't be able to get them out to be examined, obviously, because they will notice that, but you can get rid of the coins. And you can do whatever you want to with the coins then. You know, the coins have all disappeared. No, they haven't. They've appeared up there, haven't they? Anyway, shut up. There you go, anyway. Get cracking. Go and have fun with it. And I'll see you again soon.